Alright you guys, what is up? It's the Smithcraft back with another, uh, starting another Let's Play video. Sorry, it's a little laggy as we're loading in here. But uh, if you guys don't notice by the uh, by the hearts at the bottom of my screen, yeah, we're starting a hardcore survival Let's Play. So uh, I guess let's just see where this uh, goes. And uh, we're going to try and have to be very careful and not die because hardcore is no joke. So... I guess let's just get started by punching some trees. So let's get this hardcore let's play going. I'm hoping to keep this going for a really long time. That's the plan at least. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys after I maybe got some tools. Okay, so we're just crafting up the crafting bench here. Bang. Then we got all the good good sticks and oh wait we need some some more wood to craft some tools with huh let's see let's get a pickaxe right away so we can get some stone I never really make anything more than a pickaxe just because I feel like it's a waste of wood because I'm just gonna be getting stone soon anyways doesn't really affect me to build a wood sword when I can just make a stone sword let's just go over here and mine this stone Oh, I'm gonna go shut my door so you can't hear laughing. Alright, after being brutally interrupted, I'm back and we're gonna mine up some stone here. Start getting ourselves some better tools. Yeah, Stone Age. I think my goal is going to be to complete all the achievements on Hardcore mode. And that's quite a, a lofty goal, I feel like. And it's a time-consuming goal, for sure. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun getting back into some Minecraft. And I want to build, like, I want to be able to say, you know, that I have all the farms that I have on another world, you know. But on a Hardcore world. You know, I feel like it just means more if you have one life, and you gotta make it count. So, we're just gonna keep mining stuff up. Well, let's go ahead and craft up a uh, oh, stone pick. Bang. I might as well craft a stone sword as well, just so that I have some protection. I don't really need a stone or an axe yet, so... But I'm going to kill some stuff for food. I have enough for a furnace here. We're gonna go ahead and start killing some piggies. Just because I know that on hardcore mode, that's why I'm walking around everywhere too, because I don't want to waste food. Until I get a solid source of food, I'm not going to be, you know, <laughs> going super ham at you know, sprinting around and stuff. I'm going to be playing this very cautiously. Because like I said, this is something I want to keep going for a while. And uh, nothing really crazy is going to happen in this first episode. <laughs> so, I mean, if you guys are expecting the classic smithy style where I, you know, I have a freaking quad witch hut by episode 4. And that's probably not going to be happening on this series. I want you guys to actually see a lot more of the playing, but we're going to be, uh, it's going to be a lot, it's going to be a good time, good time. So yeah, we got to start cooking up this stuff. I'm going to make some torches, 16 of them. Yeah, probably for the first night I'll just be <laughs> bundling up in a little homemade cave here. But we don't really have to worry about that quite yet. I might start making a farm though, just like a wheat oh, lag I guess. Like a wheat farm type thing. But yeah, I think I should probably... I know that the safest way to, to uh, mine is strip mine. Obviously, caving isn't going to be a very friendly thing to do. Especially, so now I have some food, so now I can probably start sprinting around. Let's mine up all this coal. 
I'm just gonna try and break this wood pickaxe here. So yeah, kind of in this first episode, I'm kind of just testing the waters. I want to start something, you know. It seems like my channel is, you know, you guys are kind of enjoying some of the content I put out, like that door. You guys really enjoyed that. I just want to see if you guys want to see this side of me playing Minecraft, you know, just where I enjoy it. Because I love survival more than I love creative. creative. But um, if you guys just want to keep me to keep making the tutorials and stuff, I mean, just let me know. I mean... I've got a lot of ideas for redstone tutorials. I just need you guys to, you know, let me know if you want to see more of that style or if you guys enjoy watching me play survival. Because I really enjoy playing survival, but it's really up to you guys at this point. So yeah. I'll get back to you guys once it's probably turning nighttime after I've collected because it's gonna take me a while to mine up all this coal. Uh so yeah, we'll bundle up and we'll see where we're at. Okay guys, so night is on the horizon. If you guys can't see, it's getting a little dark out. Where's the sun? Over here, yep. So we are going to just grab all that, plop this into our inventory, and probably run and make camp in here. And I'll probably start mining tonight at some point. And yeah, oh, there's that's a big ravine. Uh, yeah, we're going to come down here and we're going to start a little little hole in the wall type shelter and just hope not to find any uh any enemies in there <laughs> so yeah let's uh hop right into it and get going actually let's place some torches outside just so that you know when i come out in the morning hopefully there's less stuff spawning around okay that's good enough for now i don't want to get caught outside too long <clears throat> okay, let's do this. And plop down the torch here. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna get going here. <laughs> Not much else to say, but mining coal. I got a lot of coal, if you guys can't see. And I did some more wood mining. You guys see I built an axe. <laughs> Not too shabby so far. Hopefully we can get our hands on some iron coming up here. That would really be cash money of this little hole in the wall. We're just gonna do this. <laughs> just start digging. I uh, guess we can place down the crafting bench and the let's mine a little a little bigger of a hole here. Do this. And I'm going to make some more torches. Go here. Not too many more. Bam. Make sure we don't get those headbanger blocks in there. More coal. Perfect. Exactly what I want to be spending my stone pick on at this point. So yeah, so far we haven't even been damaged. Let's see how long we can go without taking any damage. <laughs> That's a bold, uh, bold strategy. But let's see how many episodes or like how many minutes in this case I can go without taking any damage. And watch. After saying this, I'm just gonna die in the first episode. <laughs> Don't curse it. But yeah, so I just want to get a wanted to get a little shelter set up here. I don't know what I want to build. I don't know if I want to throw it back and build a, a big castle. I think in this one I'm gonna go for like a more cathedral style castle. I know that sounds like a big and bold statement, a cathedral, but uh, I I always want to try and build new things that are cool. And if I have encouragement to do so, I will spend literally hours and days on on building things. So yeah, I I think I want to try and build like a cathedral style. Oh, I didn't even realize. So now I gotta go build a new new pickaxe. Quick, let's go toss this in here. Grab that. 
bang. I might as well eat some pork just in case. You never know, you know. But yeah, it's pretty much just gonna be me digging down. I'll let you guys know if I find anything interesting. But I'll be right back. Okay guys, uh, I was just mining up a patch of coal and we found our first thing of iron here. So hopefully we got enough for a pickaxe. It looks like we do. Perfect. <laughs> just okay, I was gonna say exactly enough, question mark. But yeah, but so we just need to get going on oh, actually a lot of iron. Alright. That looks to be it. But yeah, I was just mining a big patch of coal and bam, first thing of iron. So yeah, I'll wait for this pickaxe to die really quick, and then we can go smoke that up. Well, that didn't take long at all. So yeah, now I've got the long jumping journey <laughs> back to the top. And we're going to smelt some iron, I guess. I think it's still nighttime. But yeah, I can craft a shovel while that's all smelting up. And then, bang, stone shovel. <laughs> get the achievement bang you guys can see smelt and iron ingot we've gotten a bunch of them out of the way for this world oh I didn't even realize this screen was still a thing I, ne I honestly never come in here adventure alright alright Let's get it. Alright, so we almost have enough for pickaxe. And then the goal is going to be diamonds. So this episode, our goal is just to get diamonds. I think it's a, definitely a doable goal. I'm going to make a stone pickaxe just so we're not... Actually, we have enough to make more than one. So I'm just going to come back once we uh, have done some more mining. Maybe we can get some redstone in our hands. You know I like my redstone. So yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we just made it to diamond level. We're down at 12 right now, which is where I'm going to be doing all my diamond mining crap. So I brought a shovel, or made a shovel. So we can uh, start looking for some diamonds. We're actually moving very quickly along here, which isn't what I really planned, but it works out. You know, it works out in the end. I don't really mind moving fast in Minecraft. Here we go. Start with this. Oh, I should probably get that off the screen. You guys probably don't want to look at that. But uh, let's go right here. Just start mining, mining up a storm, you know. Make sure. Oh, redstone. See you guys. Look at this. And uh, I'm gonna be careful about not falling, dying to lava, because that would be a shameful way to let a hardcore series end, especially you know a hardcore series that's only been one episode. For a comedic aspect, that'd be great. But I really don't want it to end that quickly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just going to keep mining here and uh, keep you guys updated. Alright you guys, it might not be diamonds, but we did find ourselves one emerald. And some iron, I guess. But yeah, so we can just keep mining that, all this good stuff up. Alright. Just mine this just to make sure. But yeah, hopefully we find some diamonds. I made one more iron pickaxe, so... Once this one dies, we're good to go for a little bit more, but I'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, so I literally mined two more blocks, and we have a cave. A big looking cave. Big honking cave. Wow, this... Oh, shoot. Um... Oh, dude, there's an abandoned mine shaft right there. And gold? This is scary. Oh god, it's right above me. I'm gonna die if I find cave spiders. I literally am just gonna die. There's nothing that I could do if one of them came at me. So I'm gonna say we save this for a later time and continue with the safe path. Even though that's very tempting, and regularly, if this wasn't hardcore, I would be going for it. But it is hardcore, so I gotta keep my my thinking well hat see already paying off i got lapis it means i can enchant all i need is diamonds <laughs> but yes we're just gonna keep going i'm gonna ignore that you guys never saw this so yeah you saw this not this 
I'll be right back, hopefully, with diamonds. Okay, guys, as you can see, because the XP is coming towards me a little bit there, I got the achievement Monster Hunter, and I didn't take a single heart of damage, which is kind of surprising, but there was a bunch of silverfish that came at me, and uh, I managed to slay them. So that was interesting. I don't know, I haven't played through with... I guess survival in a while, but do silverfish just spawn randomly like that? What? No, not randomly. Like, do the silverfish blocks just spawn randomly? That's kind of weird if they do. I feel like you should have to be near the the whatever. Oh, I can't even think of what it's called. Oh, that thunder is so loud. <gasps> you guys, we have done it. We found diamonds. That was so. And the creepy noises are coming in. <laughs> but we found diamonds. Hopefully, it's more than just two. Yes. Yes, boys. Six diamonds. A six vein. Yup. That's enough for a pickaxe and an enchantment table. Heck yeah, boys. That's how we like to end off the episodes. So yeah, I guess, oh my god, the thunder just ruining the moment. That's sick though. Alright, let's run back up and make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. Let's speed through this. Okay everybody, it is time. The time we've all been waiting for this episode. Let's just take a little bit of a screenshot. Actually, let's get him into the crafting table first, eh? Yeah, here we go. This is a good thumbnail, boys. F1. Does that work? Oh, F1's the wrong button. Of course it didn't work. F2. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and grab our pickaxe. Bam, boys, bam. Now we can go get ourselves some obsidian. Hopefully get some, I'm not doing any challenge. Oh shoot, that's kind of, squid actually kind of scared me. But um, I say uh, we go get some obsidian. And uh, that'll be next episode though, getting the enchantment set up all going, all good and ready. But uh, for now, it has been fun setting up this and getting diamonds for this episode, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like or a comment, and uh, if you enjoy my content, feel free to subscribe. I'll be posting more in time to come, so I'll see you guys in the next episode or in the next Redstone tutorial, whichever one comes next. Peace out.